What's up, guys? Welcome, Welcome back. back. Apologize for last week. I was in Galveston in a conference. And advice, don't go to Galveston. It is not fun. For a conference or in general? Just overall. Great. Bad place. Good to know. Yeah. No Galveston. Mm -mm. Uh, Want to talk about last week? Let's painfully talk about last <laughs> so week. So last week was a 10-day week. Mm -hmm. And in theory, all the best teams should have won. Yeah, because, because it gives consistency you time, wins. Right? Yeah. That didn't happen. It happened in my matchup. But it didn't happen in mine. Nor Davis. So I got progressively yeah. worse somehow as the week went on. You made a very good comeback. And then, comeback yeah, I bad. got yeah. lucky. There's, it's not a good comeback. I got lucky okay. on Sunday. Uh, brought Matt to a 6-5 to five loss. Why don't we which, talk about that matchup? All right, let's Starting talk. Uh, yeah, I, uh, I just got I got curb stomped. At basically. one point, it was 10-2. to two. It was 10-2 to two for a long time. Yeah, pretty late in the week. And then uh, living up to your name, 6-5. I mean, I'd be pretty happy with that. You were one stolen base away from even that up. And then it would have been a tie, and I wouldn't have talked about it. Matt I had tennis. an absurd amount of steals. I would have won that steals category any week. It was nine, right? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, Schwarber got him two. Uh, Chris Bryant got him two or three. That's like their season totals. Grand scheme of things, one loss, not a big deal. But but it is when Derek beats David 10-1. to one. So let's talk about that. Uh, David, you need pitching help, and it I have a suggestion... So. We'll get to that later. Yeah, later on. Uh, but yes, the pitching was bad at, at 6 ER. It was just bad. It was just bad. And you know why my loss was bad again? Because Dudley won 8-3 to three versus Marcus. He did, and that was more or less a battle of like that's... So basically Dudley can be like, they are who we thought they were, but you didn't let them off the hook. You won 8-3. A bad just... pitching team is that what you're talking about? Yes. Okay, so exactly what we thought. Yeah. 8-3, Marcus's pitching was horrendous. Yours was okay. Off the hook because Marcus's pitching was terrible. Uh, but still, you have a better team by about five points a week, and that's what kind of happened. And so. reason number 40 why my loss was a bad loss, Dustin 11, Stefan 1. Uh, yeah, that just shows... I felt like the 19... Now, let's say 2004 NBA Eastern Conference when, like... You had a number one seed that was so much better than the last playoff spot. The season were to end today, I'd be the last playoff spot. Such a huge discrepancy in between the two teams in talent. Uh, and it showed 11 to 1. It was not good. I'm happy that I won one category with quality starts. With Dustin's win, he is now 17 games up. Is there any chance in hell of a comeback? No. Just simple no. no. All right? No. No. You heard it here first. Mm -mm. Um, no. So I was looking. We only have, what, like six weeks left or something? Yeah. Um, we have exactly six weeks left. Yeah. So Dustin, I imagine, given that he is 42 games up, will be clinching a playoff spot very soon. Very soon. Yeah. Um, and in the weeks to follow, then it looks like me, Dudley, and, and uh, Derek will at the same time. And, and as we've talked about, that's a very important spot because you have two chances to win money if you, you get that You need to buy. get that two seed. Yeah. Uh, and I'm only a half game up on Derek mm -hmm. now who jumped Dudley. Yeah. Uh, which is odd to get jumped after an 8-3 win. So can we talk about jumping teams? Because Brandon, Brandon jumped made a big leap. Marcus to seven, and he's within, I think it's seven and a half of me, right? He is uh, eight and a half. Eight and a half of me. But... He's, uh, he, you know, he's been on fire, and you know who else is looking really good at the moment? Is Matt. His players have all of a sudden turned it up for some and reason. My just now is to Brandon and Matt. Why? Because I'm in your situation. We may make the playoffs. We don't really want to because we're not going to win the league. We're in the worst spot possible. Let's choose to follow my instructions and decided instead to hit 47 homers or something like that. I think uh, it was 48. Yeah, it was very frustrating. Yeah. So, guys, we have to lose. Like, we're not gonna win. We have to lose. I mean, look, look, well, speaking of losing and not losing, we'll go to this week and we'll mm -hmm. just talk. Continue to talk about Matt. Let's talk about this today week. is Wednesday. Yes. Matt has eight home runs. Uh, let me click on this way. Two from Ioannis, one from Tulo and Bryant, one from Freeman, one from Brett Gardner, two from Chris Davis. Eight home runs. Uh, I hate Chris Davis. Two and a half days yeah. in. 
I mean, Matt is mashing right now. And in all fairness, if you keep that going, Marcus is actually actively trying to lose. Even though you're tied with him 5-5, five, five, you will win. And why? Why are you winning? I don't understand. Speaking of, just as long as we're on the topic of tanking, um, just a tank warning here. If you're going to tank, please do it correctly. Don't bench your players. Don't start injured players. That's a good way to get kicked out of the league. If you're going to lose, at least do it correctly. I mean, I'm tanking and yeah. I'm still... I mean, I'm tied right now. Play your players, right? Yeah. right? yeah. Play your players. That's all, that's all we have to say about that. Keep it interesting, guys. Uh, it ruins have the rest of the respect. league. Have some integrity. Yeah. Um, anyways, continue on with this week. So, can we talk about you and your week? I am... This is a powerhouse matchup here. With me My game Derek. of the week. 7-4 right now, you, but it's going to flip-flop back and forth, back and forth. You all should just take a 6-6 six, six tie agreement and just walk away. We are having good weeks right now. Yeah. Both of us. Um, I just got overtaken in Ks per 9 thanks to Lester's 14 Ks. My goodness, where did that come from? Against the Rockies. Maybe he noticed that the Cubs thought their pitching wasn't good enough uh, after Arietta. Also, Arietta. I've been ranting on this for I don't know how long now, but Hector Rondon has a 180 ERA and has been scoreless in 26 of his last 27 appearances. And finally, he gets a save chance and gets it. They're now in the wild card hunt, by the way. You might get more save chances. My goodness. Yeah. I mean, how stupid was that not to put him in the, at the closer role? Anyways. Can we talk about my week, the battle no for who does not want six place more? Let's talk about it that. It just flipped from 6-5 in the last 30 seconds to now Brandon is up 7-2-5. Real-time stats here, guys. Yeah. Live... Not really a tweet, but live commentating. Vlogging. Yeah. Um, you can take that 7-5 win all the way home. I, so this yeah. is a really close matchup. It looks, I mean, the ERAs are 114 to 161. My goodness. Mm -hmm. With three quality starts to two. Yeah. That's pretty incredible. Uh, again, I made fun of Brandon for being the next person to reach 100 losses. He might put me at 100 losses this week, which would be egg on my face but kind of gladly egg on my base because I do want a top three draft pick. I mean, you would need to lose pretty horrifically to get to 100, and Brandon I mean, only needs two. It's shown that I can. Marcus only needs four. Player. Oh, we didn't welcome Matt mm. to the club. Oh, Matt. Welcome, Matt. Congratulations. I hit the 100 win club, too. You put up your best effort not to reach there. I, I did. Don't know I why, tried. I tried. This I've... week, Marcus and Dudley will hit it. And possibly me. I mean, well, I'd be... No, I hit the 100 wins. You, you oh, won't hit the 100, 100 wins. wins. Yeah, yeah no, you won't be doing that. Yeah, um, you can do that. I'm not going to do that. Well, I hope I do. Yeah. Um, well, I already hit it. Let me hit 110. Uh, anyways, moving on. Uh, Marcus and Matt. Tied even 5-5 five, five right now. Another matchup of players who probably don't want to be winning. Uh, I imagine Matt will keep up this hot streak and probably take this matchup around 8-4 to four or As so. As Marcus told me on Friday, I am setting my lineup on the week before and then just making sure I'm not playing anybody on the DL and just riding out a losing streak. And Marcus... Good luck to you, Marcus. I, I hope it works out for you. I, yeah, I don't care either way, really. I really don't either. Yeah. Um, Dudley is beating... Dustin, 8-3 to three at the moment. It's early in the week. Dudley's beating Teresa. Dustin. Am I on the wrong week? No, I'm on the right week. Am I on the wrong week? Week 16, in progress. Yeah, well, yeah. we have a glitch. Dudley's beating Dustin, 8-3. to yes. three. Oh, I thought you said David. No, Dudley's beating Dustin. Right. Uh, I actually wanted to talk a lot of shit about your pitching staff. But um, his pitching staff's not very good this week, so let's, I think you're probably going to Let's see. You think he's going to be Dustin? I mean, look at 540 ERA. Well, I mean, it's, Maybe it's early. Yeah. It can come down fast. Maybe I'm going to talk a lot of shit about your pitching staff. Uh, so can... Dustin has no home runs at the moment. How about that? Mm. Compared to five for Dudley. We'll go back to the RBI count really quick. 19 to 2. 19 to 2. That's sick. Yeah. Well, that one's locked up. Yeah. We can count, kiss that one goodbye. Two RBIs on a win. Now, yeah. what would be crazy about that is Dustin is on a 13... I mean, a... a I can't speak English. Last a time nine game, Dustin, a nine game win streak. The nine last game time win streak. Dustin lost was Week to six. me, and then he turned it around and beat me eleven to one. Dustin is thirteen and two on the year, so a loss would be a pretty big deal. Um, Dudley needs this to pass me, basically, um, and we all need this just bring Dustin back down to earth. Not that it matters, but I actually have Dudley winning. I, I think I wrote on eight to four. 
Just because no. what goes up must come down, but it hasn't yeah, been. That's what we've been saying all year. Out. Yeah. So. But let's talk I'm about. Not bet on let's it. talk about trades. Uh, we we got one trades. more. Brandon and Teresa, do you have anything to say? Oh, I don't care about that. Neither do I. All right, yeah. moving on to trades. So we're going to talk about trades as the deadline approaches in in real MLB. Trades that should happen. Uh, in both fantasy and MLB, do you want to start with a fantasy trade that should yes, happen? Yes, I have a fantasy trade that should happen, and it has to do with me, because I am somewhat self-centered, and I think about myself. So, Teresa, you have Felix Hernandez, and no offense, you seem like a very nice person, you just got married, a lot of things going right, but you're not going to do anything in fantasy baseball this year. You're not going to make the playoffs. So That is correct. As, as I get a little bit... Uh, ahead of myself thinking I can make a difference in fantasy baseball this year trade me King Felix and I will give you four players and you can pick the three that you want because all four are keeper eligible starting out with Shelby Miller he's got a sub three ERA good pitcher you can have the next two years after this Shelby Miller would be a great keeper it, it pained me a little bit when I traded him mm -hmm. Tyson Ross Eh, if he gets dealt with the Cubs, maybe something changes. Last year he had a sub-3 ERA. This year is about a mid-3 ERA. Can I just... Sorry to interrupt yes. again. I drafted Tyson Ross over Jacob deGrom. Okay. Um, that was the worst decision I'm of the gonna entire I'm going to pretend draft. like that was a great decision, so she'll trade me for him. That was a great job, Tanker. <laughs> Thank you. And then two of my top closers, you can have Houston Street or Melanson. Either one of the she two. She does like Melanson. Yeah. And he's a pirate. Yeah. And uh, either one of the, you can have both of them if you want. Pick three out of those four for Felix. All of them are eligible for beat keepers. Why not draft keepers? Because you're not going to win the championship this year. And all I could need Not only mine. that, but getting rid of Felix would help her finish last to get Mike Trout next year. I'm just trying to help you. So, uh, so that's the one that I came up with. Let's just alternate back and forth. What is your trade? In thought? fantasy? fantasy um, well, yeah. because I'm just going to be selfish for a minute, and then we'll get to you guys. I'm sorry. But this offer is available to the general public. I have Jason Worth and Drew Smiley on the DL right now, and I can't get them off because my roster is full. I need to trade a bulk of players and get few players in return. You want Matt Kemp? No, I do not want okay. Matt Kemp at all, for even nothing. I just, I just love um, Matt Kemp. So if anyone wants to offer, I will trade you multiple players. You give me few players in return. I need to get players off the DL, like I said. Um, be creative. I, I don't know. I can't think of anything. That's why I haven't offered. I accidentally just messed up and offered Teresa a trade that she accepted, thinking it was going to help me out, and it didn't do anything. It's that's still nice of her. That's yeah, crowded nice. my roster yeah. still. Yeah. But she got a good pitcher in return that's on fire right now. So, yeah. anyways, I'm an idiot. Tillman. But, it, yeah. yeah, Tillman okay. for Ziegler. Uh, moving on, MLB trade that should happen. Uh, the Mets, get a bat any way you can. You have five amazing young starting pitchers. Syndergaard for Castro makes sense to me. That's that's kind of my... I mean, it just works because you have I, Russell I think, sitting there in but second. But I think they need more than Castro, which is fair. And as a Cubs fan, I am willing to offer Castro and Baez because mm. I'm nice. Please, Mets, hear me. It would fix both your problems. It would fix both our problems. Cash is going to have this slump one way or another. It fixed both your problems. I mean, he's he's been on the every other year streak. Oh, yeah. I think we just got a trade. Mets acquired two-time All-Star Carlos Gomez from Brewers for Zach Wheeler and Wilmer Flores. So Mets don't trade away Syndergaard <laughs> anymore. <laughs> that was pretty cool. That was. Yeah. <laughs> Apparently more people are watching this vlogcast than we thought. Um, there we go. Wow, the, yeah. they're watching it live. Disregard what we what I said there. Scratch that. Yep. Another uh, quick another trade that should happen. Well, that's the two that I have for MLB. I can do a fantasy trade. Okay. People think I'm crazy, mean, namely Tanker, but David, I still believe in you. You're my number one team preseason. I think you need somebody that's going to bring down that ERA. You need either Felix or Kershaw. Namely Kershaw. You have a bunch of keepers. Brandon has been willing to give up Kershaw, so... Hey, why not Kershaw for Harvey? I know it sounds crazy, but Har that's a full point ERA almost difference. More like .75. Still, Kershaw's on a streak. He's going to keep being stronger. You don't have to have him during the MLB playoffs because our season's done by then, so it doesn't matter what he does. Kershaw for Harvey. Why the fuck not? I, that's, that's because he loves Harvey. I know. I tried to trade a Miggy for Harvey, so no. Um, oh, yeah. one of the trades I think should happen. You know who needs pitching? Who? 
Alex Dudley needs pitching. You know why? Oh, because he's pitching sucks. Yes, that's yeah. exactly yeah. why. Alex, I you said should... he's like whatever. Ireland, it's fine. Yeah, it's fine yeah. Alex, trade for some pitching because your pitching sucks. Alex, you want Tyson Ross? It's an offer. Ask me. I will give you a ninth round draft pick for Tyson Ross. Um, that's not true. I wouldn't do that. Well, yeah. all right. I might if I have like four beers. Um, great. Well, Tinker those are trades that should I'm happen. I'm in San Francisco for a bachelor party this weekend. I might do it. I'm also in San Francisco. You don't say. Party. Same batch party? Should we go to an A's game Friday? Why not? We'll, we'll Sonny Gray versus uh, Kluber? Oh, I wish. Wouldn't oh, that be nice? Sonny Gray pitch last night. Uh, why don't we see who's starting that game? Have you oh, checked it? No, I have not yet. Keep talking. I'll Anyways, we're going to a bachelor party. We'll text you all from Oco. <laughs> Bite on. It used to be um, called Oakland. Oh, never mind. Anyways, is, it, is that all the trades you got? That's all I have. <laughs> yeah. well, my dogs are barking now. They want the podcast in. Friday or Saturday? Friday. Oh, Friday. Okay, that pitching matchup is Salzar and Graveman. It's not bad. Don't I you have Graveman? I have Graveman, but Sounds I'm not starting cool. him. Oh, you have to start and him. Salzar, right didn't he come this close to a note here not that long ago? Yeah, but you yeah. have to start Graveman. If I'm there, I got to. Yeah. yeah. All right, well, anyways, that's all we got, I think. And guys, if you've learned anything from this vlogcast, don't go to Galveston. It's terrible. And also, trade for pitching apparently seems to be the theme. Mm -hmm. um, anyways, we'll uh, see you all next week. Good luck to me. Guys, sadly enough, I have two weeks of summer vacation left. It's about to end. That's a bummer. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, well, we'll see you guys later.